Let's wrap up Andrea's Modern Mansion by Lego Friends. This is set number 42639, contains 2,275 bricks, retails for $199.99, and the set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And that's essentially what we have done in the last three installments. And in addition, we almost got done with these stickers. And I just pulled it out of the book where I was supposed to save my progress. So I gotta go back through it. And so far the score in the set is a 6.7. The reason being is it's also a lot of the transparent stuff is scratched. So if you're getting the set, just be prepared. Uh, for the most part, though, it's not a bad build. It's been keeping my interest, except for the stuff that keeps dinging against the wall. And pretty much this is the back. And sorry about the angle, because I want to dive into this. I don't want to spend half the night moving the camera around. So let me get myself situated here. And yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Here we got bag 14 and some base plates. And it's late at night too, so we're going to be kind of getting this done here because i got to do some Christmas shopping in the morning. So let's get this out of the way. And today is the 19th of December, 2013, 2023. Okay, and let's pour everything out. I'm trying to get enough space in here where I can move. We have a lot of little pieces. <laughs> Looks like we'll be here for a while. Uh, and I wonder how much this is scratched, because I've just kind of gotten brutal with, you know, Lego could have fixed this at any time. See that right there? You can see those pits right there. Making sure that's not dust. That's scratched up. How about the next one? Well, that one there, uh, like that's just a smudge, that's fine. Uh, this one's got some slight marring, not too bad. And if I see any more of those, I'm dinging it down. Oh yeah, Look at that's nice and scratched there. Boy, that's really bad. Sorry, I'm used to having the camera down there. Okay. What was it, 6.7? It's a 5.7 now. I'm going to fail every one of these until they start packing these right. You know, I mean, that sounds... I, I'm waiting for one of them to contact me. Says, well, Jay, that's the best we can do. You know, for 200 bucks, it better be packed well. <laughs> you know, like I said, I keep an open mind on these things. And when the poly bag's come in better than the set does, that's uh, kind of, you know... I expect this from an off-brand building block, but never from a Lego product. So uh, when I do the review, it's already down to a five point, or a, yeah, five point seven out of ten. And it's just basically due to scratched pieces. Lego could have fixed it at any time, and they have not. So well, let's get let's get going here. We don't want to reminisce over that. We already got ourselves a wig. Let me put this down here. A little bit here so you, you know whoops and I had somebody in another one of my videos complain about the bumpiness of the camera again you know so I'm not even gonna bother with it no warnings just move the camera one of my friends told me that just don't give them a warning just move it so this is ye G now or G no I don't even know what his name is half these names are just kind of weird Oh, I got, and I gotta go find the box for this set. And the booklet has the name, the booklet doesn't even have the names posted. Everything's on the box. So you gotta practically have everything here. His name is Genon. G Wan. G Wan. Alright, he can join Leo here in a second. Alright. Well he found his wig and his his torso, oh, there's, his, there's his head. Almost looks like that guy from the elves. Has he got green eyes or blue eyes? Oh, his are brown. Okay. 
looking for the legs. What color are they? Sand, sand green or spring green? So those should be easy to spot. What is this guy supposed to be? Prince Charming? Right, let me put this over here a little bit more. And... Yeah, there we go. Not too bad, huh? And then... Uh, that's it. And now we're going to be focusing, let's get rid of the teething toys. And I'm kind of like beyond words with this stuff being scratched the way it is. Um, what can I do? You know, I can post it in Lego's thing. Oh, we'll send you a new set of pieces. Don't worry. I mean, I know custom service will send me new stuff. But for me, personally, I should not have to ask for replacement parts. <laughs> you know, I should just be able to open it up and start building and go, Oh, half the parts are damaged. What do I do? Oh, well, I'll just have to wait it out. So go contact customer service. They'll replace it for you. And then wait a long time for them to ship it to your house. They're not like the ambassador where they'll, they'll send them to you like within like a few days and then you're done no these guys will see you wait about a week or two if you're lucky you may get them faster and yeah so i've been kind of playing around with that fortnite game some more and i found that i guess the gal with the the pink hair kind of tells you how to play, and I just kind of ignored her. Now today, I kind of listened to her and what she had to say, and yeah, she's uh, been a big help. I've already built my first shelter and got all sorts of stuff going in the game. So yeah, don't ig if you're playing it, don't ignore her. She will help you out as much as she can. So I'm starting a little village now. We only it's only. Her, myself, and somebody else that randomly just showed up. And slowly trying to grab sticks and stuff. And I'd be playing it right now, but I want to get this set here done real quick. In terms of let's just finish it up and get it out of the way. These little uh, yellow friends flowers, I'm going to get a couple of those. Those work really well for all sorts of stuff. Um, making flowers for botanicals or for your city or whatever. They're pretty good for that. Pretty good. Uh, door frame here. You know... No, I don't think I have these in orange. Be good for a fireplace. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go on the ambassador thing and see what's with Lego and how they package sets. I'm so tired of getting scratched parts. I'm not the only one. I'm kind of curious though. Is anybody else in here? If you're watching this, have you ever experienced that before? Yes, Lego will will remedy it, but I I just don't think it's necessary if they can just solve the issue and just be done with it instead of just uh, wait until somebody complains about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, it's getting late, I don't want to do the whole review tonight. What I'm going to propose to do here, oh, that's in pearl gold. I bet that's going to get a sticker on it. But what I'm proposing to do is I'm going to um, do the rough review on this one tonight. So, and kind of report my findings. But so far, here's the deal. Build experience is really good. Build quality seems pretty good for what this is. Um, Really, nothing's really catastrophically falling apart except if I make the mistake. And 
Um, well, build experience. That's a limit. The build experience is pretty good, but I have to fail it. Um, as far as for failing it, the, the quality control, it will have to fail. But build experience, build quality uh, are pretty good. Um, it's got nice bright colors. It's keeping my interest, so the engagement's pretty good with this build. And all sorts of stuff. So at least I am getting... You know, at least this is getting done here. You know. So... I gotta go down, get some gift cards, and be done with it. <laughs> yeah, but I've been playing that Fortnite game, and I'm getting pretty far. The only thing that's killing me off now is sometimes I'll get like five or six skeletons around me, or the worst thing is is getting the well, that's going to have to be pulled out of there. Um, getting frozen to death. I can't go far without getting without getting frozen to death. So I kind of wish that game was Lego Worlds. That would make more sense. Lego could have just made that into just Worlds itself, or Epic Games, or whatever. Lego Worlds, we all thought would be like, we all thought Lego Worlds would kill old Minecraft. That, that was a lie. And this game here probably could do it. Um, it could probably really cream or put Minecraft, even Roblox, up to its, uh, to its limit there. How the heck do you get that out of there? Really, Lego? Well, I gotta stop what I'm doing. Let me go pull that out. Okay, well, I had to rip that out of there and that wasn't too fun. But for the most part, um, the game is, is enjoyable. I just don't have a lot of time to sit down and play video games because I have sets to review and try to get them out of here. So hopefully I can get these done. Once I get all these done, it's like, oh, we're gonna send you more, but I looked haven't got any new offers. So even if they offer, contact me and said we're going to send you an offer, I won't have to worry. Because that won't happen for a while. You know what I mean? Okay. So... Christmas is coming around the corner here. And I guess the kids have got finals out here this week. And yeah, uh, there's one kid that I know is not studying, thinks he can wing through it. I'm like, just study. And the video games, the television can wait. You're not my dad. Okay. I, I got that, and I thought, I looked, and I said, that's okay. I said, I already passed my classes. I don't care if you pass. If, uh, I was like, well, I already passed all my classes, so you passing or failing is not a big deal to me. I just want to see you get good grades, but hey, not my problem. <laughs> that sounds cold, but I'm like, yeah, you're not my kid. There's a hinge in the middle here, so this must line up with this. Well, now we know that that lines up perfectly. Okay, so if you need to do angled platforms, there you go. I remember we would have some people in our group that were in high school and their senior years like, oh, Jay, I gotta get off call, I gotta study for finals. I'm like, okay, cool, good luck, you know.
Uh, like we're, our group will still be here, and it's still there. You know? <laughs> uh, like I tell everybody, I said your grades are more important than being on here right now. I said you know, it's it's always going to be here, and oh, I don't want to miss any miss out on anything. I said, well, you're not missing out on much right now. You know, so you're you're fine. kid wants to go to college and I just didn't have the heart to tell him and think well in college you can't just skate by they will out you know California is weird you know out here they don't they have a policy of no student is left behind and teachers can't fail students so when they go to college that's the first dose of a failed grade they ever have if you just don't study, they fail you. I was lucky I didn't fail any courses, but of course I had to study, study, study. It was boring, but I did it. And... Oh, okay. But if it's your own major, you want to do good. It's... Ooh, it's the general ed courses that were kind of a bummer for me. I'm like, oh god, I gotta, I gotta get these done. <laughs> and they're boring, but I gotta finish. And I always had to study things. Uh, there were some interesting classes, like I took criminal justice and all that stuff. And well, you can't see what I'm doing. And I took criminal justice. What was another interesting class? Uh, one of those anthropology classes I took. Um, I think of any other courses. Uh, obviously not literature and English. That was a that was a toughie there to get out of. It was like getting a B in there. I was happy to walk out of that one. And is this the hair salon or something? And you know. Oh wait a minute. This is we got to put one more piece in here. One time, uh, this person asked me, is college hard? And I'm like, well, it depends on your major. I said, it's uh, not hard, but it's work. It's a lot of work. Oh. Oh, I'll be fine. I'm like, you're going to need to study. Oh, no, I don't. Okay, let's take our teething toys that are scratched up. We're going to put this in here. I need these for a house. But these are so scratched up, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just, uh, this cracks me up. Oh, you're not my dad. You can't tell me. I'm not telling you anything. You can do whatever you want. But just study your finals for me and get good grades. I think this kid thought I was going to fight with him, and I'm like, no, I'm not even going to waste my time. But we got to make two of these. Like I told him, I'm like, dude, I've already passed my courses. I'm already done. I've already went through junior college, college, and, and grad school after that. I don't have to, uh, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about all that crap. I'm going to have to censor that word out just to make somebody happy. But I don't have to do all that um, extracurricular stuff. And uh, not too fun. Not too fun at all. Mm. Why do you worry about me? Oh, because I care. Maybe I won't. Yeah, that kind of thing, and you're just like, let me put the glass in there first. And so I just, you know, most families, they care about what happens to their siblings. I was pretty much raised, you don't. You just worry about yourself. 
It's just instincts. And then we got to put the barbed wire on for um, G, G1. So he can't go in there. But for the most part, you know, when you're you're like, hey, just study, get your good grades, just sit down and study, just get it done. You know, well, I don't have to listen to you, okay? Just giving you a word of advice, because I think all of us have been through high school, but. See that right there? See how scratched that is right there? That's what I'm, that, this piece is probably the worst right here. And, you know, I think a 5.7. This may be a failing grade. I won't go any lower than a zero. What am I dinging off? The parts are scratched up. I don't know what they were doing with this. But, yeah. All right, enough about the grades. Now we can talk about the scratch teething toys. But the problem is with me is I care too much. And you know, I'm not not that type of person, but I was raised where you just don't care. I mean, it's, sometimes I guess having a big heart can get you in trouble. missing a piece that goes here. I'm looking for it now. It's a downwards. Oh, I guess it's dark gray, is it? I guess it is. Yeah, but I'll tell you though, working on these Lego sets, these big ones, they kind of take a little out of you. This thing's not too terribly bad for what it is. This is a nice one here. I just wish it was packed better. Because you notice I haven't really been experiencing any breakage. Now, I mean, if I do something wrong and put the part in the wrong place, that's on me. But I have not experienced anything kind of just going crazy on this one here. Hoping to get this thing done here quickly tonight. When you get a bunch of small pieces, it just drags it out really slow. All right, well, over here, you're gonna have to put eight of these on here. Well, yeah, well, those are look those look familiar, don't they? Those little garage door pieces, so we're going to have to put some of those back on there. Maybe we'll get some green ones for those next. You've already got red, orange, yellow, get green, blue. I think they already have light blue. I don't know about purple. Just to get the whole rainbow spectrum, and there you go. Have your whole thing in LGBT, LGBTQ garage door thing, you know. Matter of fact, a lot of us, when we were younger, we built rainbow houses because that's all we could do. You know, putting that there to flatten that out. And now, getting enough pieces, you can do more than just that. See, uh, let me make sure. Is that a score? Is that just scuffed? I'm just checking to see here. You know, I'm not asking for picture perfect parts, Lego, but scratches have got to stop.
Okay. And there's a radiator grill right here we forgot to put on right in this corner here. Let me push this back over here. There's just so much to do on this set here right now. What goes there? Is there something I'm missing? Oh, I forgot to put the purple studs in there. We'll do that right now. <laughs> you tell I'm getting tired. I'm just, honestly, guys and gals, I'm just kind of beat. Um, just doing Lego sets every day is... Just, it's getting kind of old. And I try not to let that get in the way and contaminate the build experience. Well, oh, I guess it's a lamp. I was going to say, is that a... I'm just going to say, is that a, a dance pole? I think this is just a, a lamp. Yeah, so I'm going to try to do... Oh, I, here's another comment that... Oh, yeah, speaking of comments, here's one that I, it's really important to mention. I had a spammer that got blocked today. I mean, this guy here goes, Wow, you're not that popular. How did you get that set? It was a Fortnite thing. Okay, he's allowed to voice his opinion. I don't care. The second comment was on another person's. I'm just going to spam you five paragraphs. Okay. He didn't break a rule yet. The second person. He spams it again. That's strike one. The third person, strike two. The fourth person he spammed. Sorry, dude. But you voted off the island. And that's a little lamp right there. And I banned him so quick, he didn't know what hit him. And I thought, man, I would never have done that. Some people do that. They'll announce to me that they're going to spam. I'm like, well, I can't ban you because you only did it once. Twice, you, you changed your words. But then you did three, four, five. I'm sorry, three, four, and five. I had to block him, man. <laughs> Hey, it's better than having troublemakers on the channel. You know, I mean, who wants those on there? So I just block them. Okay, we Yep, I was right. Got to put a sticker on that. That's sticker number 22, which is that one right there. Well, it would have been nice if this was an actual mirror. I managed to get that on there pretty good. Too bad it wasn't a real mirror. That would have looked really good. It just goes on right there. This be a makeup room then. You know, I'm a nice guy, you know, but when somebody does that kind of nonsense, I'm like, you know, well, that's, that's just how it is. You know, what? what that's supposed to be a fan. I think that's supposed to be a little oscillating fan. And it just sits right here in the corner. I don't like the way that looks, but I'm trying to rotate it a bit more here. But it's just being a turd. Well, let's not mess with that too much. And then we got a perfume bottle. Oh. What kind of creature is that? 
How did that get in here? That's something you'd see like in the dreams or something. Maybe this is Lego Dreams. Or maybe that's the thing for the makeup table to guard it to make sure that you're put, putting your makeup on correctly. I don't know what that is. Could be a bird too. That's what it is. It's probably a little bird. Um, and a plate with the cookie on it. Okay. And we got this stem thing. Hold on, is that, I'm not even putting it in right. Okay, I was looking at that, it's kind of weird. No, there's uh, there's two of them that go on top of one another there. Those are kind of, always kind of cool, but I never really use those. They're not really strong enough for the trees I build, but they're pretty cool. And yeah, I wanted to see what that did there. Like I'm just cutting you off here, so I'm trying to keep everything situated and try not to yawn in your ear. It's probably just some kind of bird. And that just came off. Come on. We don't want to make this, we don't want to ruin this any more than it already is. And you know, I need to rip out more points. And this goes in here. That's what it looks like so far. Pretty cool. It's nice and bright, too. And despite of all what we did here, that's what we have remaining. That's actually a lot of parts of the build, but I don't remember seeing any more studs and stuff. That's, that's just too many. Let me hang on. Let me take a look here. Used two studs there, and they were purple. Matter of fact, they show two studs back right in this corner here. All right, and we can toss those off. And let's put that in there, let's patch that right up because that is supposed to be there. And that finishes up 14. Let's move on to bag 15. How much more damage are we going to find in this one? Huh? Well, we'll find out here eventually. Once they get down to a zero, it won't matter after that. Alright. I'm very... I mean, when I even order this... And it's not just them packing... These sets, even I get that even when I order from Pick a Brick. Like the parts will just come in so. Sometimes the parts just come in so trashed. It's like really, hmm. like something like this here. Just making sure, you know. Like here we got the garage door pieces, and they won't put the transparent stuff in these, but they put these in here. I don't quite understand it. Okay. Imagine if this was like a really high-end set. Like just... Okay, who are we putting together now? Um, it looks like we already put Paisley. Um... This one's Emma. Emma, Emily, not my Emily. No way. 
Because it's not even close to what she looks like. <laughs> All right, so let's, we're still working on that. Oh, what are we doing here, G1? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put you in the life preserver now. So, Leo can take a break and just sit here and go, ah, you know, that kind of thing. You gotta have fun with that. Let's put him over here. Let's have him sit in his emo corner and cry it out for a bit. There, you can sit there and cry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's get going here. We still gotta find our torsos and parts and stuff like that. Um, looking for a blue camera stud. I got the stud. There's the camera. I'm just going to start building right now so we're not behind. We got another little teddy bear with it. Maybe there's another kid in here. Okay, well, there's the torso. That's a nice coral blouse or a skirt. All right, well, I see the head. Well, these gals have got makeup just caked all over their faces. My goodness. Let's see here. I'm trying to find, I think they mean this. Because all I see are these. So I was looking for pink, but. You know what I'm in the mood to watch right now? I've been wanting to watch for a couple of days. I may just do it. A-Team from the 80s. <laughs> I'm thinking about the theme song. It's like, da, da, da. It's like, what was that show that had that theme song? I was like, oh, the A-Team. I remember what it was like. B.A. Baracus, and you had Face Man, Hannibal, and uh, I can't remember the other guy. The guy's named Murdoch. Then you had oh, then you had old Colonel Lynch and Colonel Decker try to stop them, which never happens. And why don't they make Lego sets like that? Probably because that's too violent. But yeah, I remember those shows. <laughs> Imagine what, having those today. It'd be kind of corny to watch, but still, those are kind of kind of cool though. The A Team. All right. I don't have a lot of that, especially in brick form. Yeah, just sitting here thinking about the old TV shows, and there was this one show that I tried to get into when I was younger. It was on over the air called Hell Town. Some kind of weird show. I remember I'd always watch that before I doze off before school, before I had to go go to bed before school, you know, uh, school night. There was another show that used to be called Tour of Duty. That was an interesting one to watch. What else? I already know about Alf and Roseanne. We've watched those, talked about Unsolved Mysteries. Rescue 911 was another one that came out in the late 80s. And uh, Mary with Children was another one. I can't find any more of those shows anymore now when I turn on the TV. Like, I turn, on, turn it on today, it was just mostly just a, uh, um, the sitcoms and uh, reality shows. Like i got to go to the classic TV channels to watch the really good stuff. Some of it's a little too old for me, but... What was the other one called? The Fall Guy. And then you had Magnum P.I. But MacGyver was another one there. I used to love that show. Kind of got me into doing computers and stuff, too. Tinkering with electronics. And we need sticker number 17. Which is that right there? And 
Yeah, and MacGyver was an inspiration for a lot of kids wanting to get into that field. Physics, um, uh, uh, being a scientist, all that stuff. And now I just go on there and I turn on the thing and you sometimes I'll hear like somebody watching it in the house and just hearing beeps and blips and like are you listening to morse code it's all beeped out and like no i'm watching this i'm like so i'll walk by sometime i'm going beep 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 morse code i just use morse code to spell bad words just they get mad at me for that but i'm like yeah censorship all right, this goes on here. What is this then? Huh, kind of interesting. Then we have a gift box, and come on Lego, they make these already printed, and you had to put that on there as a sticker. We're almost done with the sticker sheet here. That's sticker 27, which is that right there. And I don't have a whole lot left. I bet they're going to drag these stickers all the way out to the very end. There we go. Oh, wait, there's something that goes in there. Whoops. All right, we'll put that in there. It's a heart. Isn't that cool? we got a heart inside the box. It's a Christmas present. I like to see these get in different colors. We'll stub, uh, what's his name? G1, J, maybe, yeah, it'd be G1, throw his wig in there. I don't think, I don't think their fit wigs would fit in those boxes. We always used to kind of tease about the, um, what's that game? Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, um, San Andreas, getting a haircut, and it was so convenient. It's like, oh, I wish I could go to the barber and just try out the styles before I pay for it. Just like, hmm, what would I look like with this? Let's try that out. You know, just to see what it looks like. That'd be so convenient. I mean, we have apps, but... Some places charge a lot to use those, but it's kind of like, yeah. Ooh, I gotta be careful. I want to get a paper cut. Okay, so. You know, it's so tempting to bring this camera down to your level, huh? Let's just do. Whoa! Well, somebody's probably gonna complain about it, but. Well, that's just the price to pay to do. Behind the scenes, focus. And while I'm here, oh, I can't unplug the laptop, the lights. I can't use the light uh, because I'm actually uh, running through the uh, a video right now. I'm trying to get this video done in terms of, you know, getting it processed. After that, I'm going to start doing part one of this and start getting these out of here lickety-split. I have to get these done. And these are a lifesaver door frame. Why? You see me do my houses with the siding. You just put that there and you got the siding next to it. Works really good with that. So be sure to hoard those up when you can. It's a nice part to have. I've been trying to find them in different colors. The smaller ones are for interior, but this, these right here work good if you want to put some decorative siding and stuff around your house. All right. You know, at least I'm giving you some tidbits in here for free. Some people charge for that stuff. There's a YouTuber I used to watch, and he kind of went to all paid. And then once he did that, well... Uh, those two are not going to go together. Once he did that, it's like, well, I can't enjoy your content anymore. 
he did it because it's the same predicament I'm in. People were taking advantage of his stuff, and he's like, well, I guess I can start charging for it, so he does. This is only like a dollar a month. I mean, I can probably swing that. Here's the deal, though. If they would, if they would allow the YouTube memberships not to have ads, I wouldn't mind paying for that for my favorite creators. You know, you pay a dollar and you don't have to see the ads on that one channel, and that money goes to the creator. Will YouTube do that? Probably not. I mean, I have behind the scenes stuff on mine, but it's basically early releases. And that's kind of a lot of hinges there to lock all that in. Well, we don't want that to come apart. I mean, this is like not even budging, so that's pretty good. I mean, I get it, you know, why people do that stuff. Yeah, back to that one guy says it wasn't popular enough. I'm like, oh, be careful. You may wake up one day. Oh, this is a cool video. I can't wait to watch this. And it says, oh, you got to be a member to see it. That's not fair, Jay. I'm like, oh, I'm not popular enough. I can't show it to you. All right, so it's kind of a bad color Lego with the purple and the black. Okay. We're not done with this yet, but we got to set that off to the side. It looks like we're going to need this other plate here. And let's go here. Need a bunch of these. Yeah, I got hair literally falling in my eyes now. <laughs> Like I said, if I ever, when I do the closing video, because I'm not going to have a haircut until well into next year, I'm just going to get a, um, just put a beanie cap on, just do my video. I'll wear one half the time anyway, so it's not a big deal. But usually I do the videos. I don't like to have headgear on, but sometimes I have to wear a fitted or something. That reminds me, I gotta get me a new fitted cap anyways. Yes, I'm one of those kids that, kids, guys that wears the fitteds. I don't like that snapback stuff. If I wanna buy something with a hole in it, I just buy me a visor, but no, I don't want the hole in the back. It's gotta be, here's the deal, it's fitted or nothing. I wonder what this is going to be for, huh? Hoping to get out of the house tomorrow by 11 and get the stuff, come back home. And just play video games and then while I'm doing that I can just do this stuff here okay now we got to get some put some little flames and that must be a barbecue or something I don't know what that is could be an outdoor fireplace too So, I don't know what that's for. 
I remember my parents' old fifth wheel had one of those little fireplaces in there. Basically, it's just an electric uh, heater with the, with the light show in the front. Those are always cool. And they had to sell it. My dad got sick and they, because it was just no point. He was the only one that can tow that stuff. Not even I can tow a trailer. I would lose my patience. Towing trailers is not my thing. Okay, that goes in the middle there. Yeah, that does sound good. It's seafood. Yummy fish and chips. Uh, what are those other things? Shrimp, clams. Yummy. Haven't had that in over a year. Except the, except the, the, um, I did a snack food review on them, but the frozen fish dinners that are kind of, they kind of just have that weird aftertaste that you kind of wish would go away. Even when I close my eyes and play the play some waves in the background, I still don't feel like it. I feel like I'm at the beach. Okay, man, that is sloppy there. They want us to put two of those, but I only have just one. Oh, there's the other one. I don't know what this is here. Well, whatever it is, we got to put another one on the top there. Oh, we got the famous plates again with the cocktail glasses. Or a cocktail glass. So this is probably the VIP patio where we sip on our favorite beverage. For those who ask, no, I do not drink alcohol at all. That stuff is nasty, disgusting, barf gross. Oh, and that's not a thing. That's a pastry. It's a donut. I've seen this piece around a couple of times. Or you can use it as a funnel cake, too. But no, I don't touch that stuff. Besides, it makes you age faster, and I don't want to do that. All right, so we need sticker. This one's got two stickers. What? What is that? Let's see here. Sticker number 10. Looks like a burner to a stove. A stove I've seen before. All right. So what are we building there? Let's put this down here for right now, and then... Okay. Oh, it looks like a barbecue, but... I don't know. Let's see here. Sticker number eight. Oh, I see what we're building. Can you guess what that is? Hold on. Well, that didn't quite go on her straight, but it's la 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 la, and these are microphones. It's a karaoke machine. <laughs> I never could do karaoke. Okay, so you got the karaoke thing going on. Now we take this piece here and we put this on the top. Alright, so this is actually going to have to be really pressed on. I thought maybe it's just modular. But no, it's not. Now, I'm working this thing in very slow, so just, just do that. Remember, you have an inverted slope here, so make sure that this right here 
is pinched in too. Getting that corner back there. Okay. This goes here. It's nice that they match this color with that. All right. Why are you telling me to do it that one? Just put it right here and put this in here. Yeah, I'm going to fix up for bed here in a second. I'm just going to clean this up here. And as far as for the walkthrough, I'm not going to go through and do a de detailed walkthrough. I'm going to save that for the main review. I mean, I'll point rooms out, but I'm not going to make it a big deal. The reason being is that... Um, i got to make two of these here. I don't want to drag this all out tonight. I just want to get it done. And then what I'm going to do tomorrow is I'm going to come back in, do the review and stuff. We're at 5.7 now, but if anything else happens, it'll be dropped down to a 5.6. And Man, I was really hoping this would have been a perfect set. I saw this, I thought, oh, this looks fun to put together. Okay, I'm going to flip this thing like that. It would be easier to work on it like this. And then, let me show it hanging over. Careful with your turntable underneath, so hang that over like that. And it should look like that with it hanging over on this side right here. All right. Here. Move that over there for you. <laughs> Trying to hold on to this thing in such a way. Boy, that's really seamless. Look at that. Really good. Okay. Got to make another one for the side. We don't have a lot of parts left. But I still got two bags after this one. So I'm going to kind of just stay up and just incline to get this fully done tonight here. Well, get it built tonight and then save the review for tomorrow. See how that's starting to buckle? That's got me worried there, Lego. Um, up this side here. That's not too bad. That looks really good. Just imagine you change that color. Man, this is more like a nightclub than anything else. Okay. bet we're going to make another one here that goes on the bottom. And then after that, or you place it here. And now we got to put the louvers on there. And it comes with a bunch of them now. Set them on there. 
Um, the easiest way to do it is to do it like this. Set it on a flat surface. And then I'm going to put them on the bottom holder here and press them in. Looks like we get two yellows, two oranges, and four magentas. Looks like a heat register in a way. One of those ones that you can just readjust. This is the only bad thing about a turntable though that I hate. Is that you can see it just keeps wanting to move. Now if you really want to incline to line these up, oh I thought you can just stick something in there. Or just stick your brick separator in there just to kind of reline these up a bit. But I can't tell at my angle here. You probably got a better angle than I do. those go in there yeah we had to build another one of these so if you're getting if you're building this part here just build two of them and just have one hanging on to one and one just hang on to one in advance this one oh, looks crooked here does it really matter well I'm gonna go OCD on that so yeah it does matter to me well it's up too high now that's just right Okay. I mean, it really is a modern mansion. It looks really good. I don't know about that right there. And we have one piece remaining here. Well, we have a couple of things. So we forgot some stuff. Um, let's see what we've got here. I think this... Where does that go to, huh? Or is that the top of the table? Okay, first off, I forgot to put that in there. So let's put that in there. We got the wig. So I think the wig goes to that thing inside the... Uh... Let me make sure here real quick. Where does the wig go? Huh. Let's go back here. Well, obviously it'd be with the roof build, huh? It wouldn't be anywhere else. Where does this go? Oh! You know who we forgot? We forgot uh, Emma. Whoops, Emma, we're sorry. We'll put that on there and fix it right up for you. There you go. We got this teddy bear here. You can hang on to that. You need that. It's like she's kind of yanking it, but there you go. And, oh, she's got to have her camera. I don't know what the bear went to. I don't see him... I didn't see him go in anywhere. So your guess is as good as mine. So I think the teddy bear, let's put him in here. Or we'll just set him out. There's two teddy bears. And you're already becoming a nuisance. You're falling down. So Emma, you can just sit. Let's put you in there. You, you need a bath anyways. <laughs> let's put the camera in her, in her hand. Since it's blue, she can just use it to go into water. And she can take pictures of people underwater. Okay. And that is what we have remaining for bag 15. Okay, we're getting close. We've got bag 16 here. And let's see how much of this is damaged in here. This is almost kind of exciting to see all these pieces damaged, huh? Well, that's kind of a nice color for a Technic brick. And, yeah. This 
just got done brushing my teeth and stuff, so I got that out of the way. Now it's all about uh, putting this stuff on here. Ooh, I like this part right here. Transparent orange piece. I wonder where that's going to go. Man, it's quieter now. You know why? I turned off the computer. It's time to say night-night to it. Don't need any more anyways. And I just got the first part of this loaded up into the editor. I'm waiting for the waiting for the thing to shadow file everything so I can get going on it. Okay, we're not done with this piece yet. So bag 16 also works on this. And so far so good. And let's see here. Yeah, I'm getting a little tired. I don't know how I'm going to breeze through this real quick. I'm, because I'm spending half my time trying to find parts. Like this is some kind of a, a modern sofa. A new way of making them, I guess. I'm gonna need that for the next step. And there we go. Yeah, I'm going to, once I get all these done, it won't be too bad. After this one, we have three more sets left. I haven't even got any new offers, so that's always good. And this goes right back here. Just set that right down in there, and we got ourselves an outdoor sofa. And I don't want to unplug the laptop, because now I'm uploading files. You know, the life of a YouTuber, I guess. You just you sit and you upload. Sometimes I wish I had a GoPro or something like that. Or I can sync up the video. I've done it once many years ago. I have two different cam camera angles. It's not too bad if you have a very popular YouTube channel, but if you're not popular and you're not getting a lot of views, the only thing I could suggest is, is not invest the money into that. Don't roll off. Let's put that back over there. All right. Missing one more of those rounded pieces. So let me guess. We are going to have to hunt for it now. All right, let's start sorting by color. There's just too much white on here. Out of all this color, we're getting to all... This right here, I've seen this. And I'm still missing this piece in the corner here. All right, now I'm gonna have to, I'm kind of caught in a corner here, so I'm gonna have to start digging for parts. Each bag, I think, has probably got a couple hundred pieces in them. It feels like it anyways. But when you're doing Lego set marathons like this, it's uh, kind of tiresome. Still haven't found that, uh, that piece yet. It just so happens it's white. I can't put this, I can't do anything until I move away from this little chair. Okay, now I found it. It's important because it goes right on this swivel plate right in here. Now let's see here. I don't think 
that chair is supposed to be that far away from that. Well, let's peel that off and move it over then. There we go. Yeah, I mean, that's a nice little place to lounge, huh? Well, now we got to, oh, well, you're going to be forewarned. I'm going to be moving the camera a lot here. So now we're going to need to put this on the top of that. Okay. And looks like bag 16 is just basically finishing this all up. Yep, just scrape up against the wall. The thing bad about getting these sets where they're so big, they're hard to move around even for a turntable. And... I'm thinking it goes there. How does that go on again? Yeah, it hooks right onto here. But... Um, let me look here. Something, it's like something's missing on that there. Or it's sitting right like this. Okay, it locks in there. And then you have to press that down in there. Let's see here. Well, we obviously got it right because it's even, except for this it up and see here. Yeah, there's a lot of accessories now. Uh, yeah, this thing here is kind of kind of coming up here. Let me, it's just too much of that going on. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm not sure why that doesn't line up, but it should. All right. 6.6. .6. No, it's a 5.6. My bad. Yeah, this is just kind of kind of crummy right here. I don't know what that's about. Because the windows line up, everything lines up, but this is just not okay. 5.5. I'm tired of messing with that. And let's see here. Alright, I'm gonna have to get down and dirty with this because it's just not going in the way you want it. And you can tell I'm getting tired. <laughs> And I could stop for the night, but I really want to get these out of here quick. I want to enjoy my uh, Christmas without a... Uh, let's see what went wrong now. 5.4. And this is really going to be a messy set, all right, because I'm having more problems with lining that up than anything. And now we're getting all this stuff breaking apart. When the stuff gets big, it's just hard to work with, so that is just going to have to be left with like that. It's just kind of warped. All right, now we can continue on with this. <sighs> Jay, you're a, you're a brute. Yeah, I am, huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, we're missing something here. Okay. Put that right in there. I am a brute, but this thing should be built a little better down here. And then, so if you're a parent and you're really worried about this thing falling apart for your child, then you may want to get a turn. Like the turntable is, is not just an option. I would guarantee getting one. Now, just from the size of this, I mean, you wouldn't want to pick it up like this, obviously. And this is going to be a set here, I'm just going to bluntly say, once you have a spot for it, keep it there. <laughs> Don't move it around too much. And if this is getting out of alignment, just be very careful with it, because it will fall apart on you. Okay, I mean, we all do reviews and stuff differently, but man, this one here is going to be 
kind of crummy here. Let's see what we're working on. Are we still working on the top floor? All right. Trying to get this to where you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of hard when I want to work closer to me right over here and you cannot see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to uh, keep myself in frame here so you can see what I'm doing. What is this, some kind of a, a pool float or something? And then... Like, I would use that light, but I've just got to wait for the laptop to get done, which it won't for a while. It's pretty slow, but I'm going to incline to get all that done. You also get one of these frames, too, which is cool. Okay, and after that... Um, yeah, I'm off frame. I'm just... It's hard to hold this stuff up constantly. I'm not really sitting in a good, comfortable position doing these. And got an itch that you can barely reach. Let's lean up against the wall here. Now I'm looking for a black friction pin. So I really don't need to walk in the, through the detail on this. The, the notes at the end is the one thing I want to focus on. Well, let me go and start sorting out black parts now. I did the white. Let's do the black stuff. Am I getting bored with it? I just think it's uh, it's the marathon of sets. When I wake up, it's like, okay, i got to get these done so I can get them reviewed. Because honestly, I hadn't even worked on any building guides in the last two weeks. I have a bunch of stuff that needs to be backed up, but I'm doing stuff that's already in a guide. And are we serious, Lego? There's no Technic pen? Is there only one or two? Oh, there's one. Never mind. That's my bad. All right. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing here. Yeah, I'm getting tired. It's like after 3 in the morning, and I just want to hurry up and get this done here. And... Oh, I put that in backwards. Well, let me take that out and do it again. Yeah, it's Technic. You know, what can I say? We're... Oh, I thought that was... No, this is orange. It's not a medium. It's not... Uh, whatever, it's just... I. I don't even know what I'm saying. All right. Do I have to do them? Yes, just to get them out of the way. Okay. I've been reading some stories on Reddit, not Lego related, but some of these, you know, for small businesses and stuff. And some of these guys get kind of weirded out when the people hang out at the business. Okay, this is supposed to go in this little hole right here. Make sure I get that in the right spot here. And this time we got the light blue hand from the void coming to visit us. Now I think what it's saying, you need to rotate that until it locks in place and then press this down. I have a feeling this is going to be the thing for the elevator to raise it up and down there. Yeah, doing Technic at 3 in the morning is not something I want to do. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I think this Christmas they were talking about, I was hoping to have a ham going to fix a ham, but everybody wants fried beans for Christmas Eve dinner. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, if that's the case, then I'll just hang out with the girlfriend. Say, oh no, you don't want to go over to my house. They're having the weird stuff. All right.
Besides, when I go get the stuff, I gotta go do some grocery shopping anyways. Got that out of the way as well. Bring home some goodies. Maybe bring home some some bachelor specials or, well, TV dinners to you guys and gals. Okay. I don't know what we're doing here. Probably building this up. Maybe this is the dance floor. Every time you dance, the elevator goes up and down. And there's a t one by one tile. One here. Okay, and there's one here, but we're not done with this step because you gotta come in here, put these in like that. I mean, so far this is more like a dollhouse than anything else, but. I can see this here being the back of this has some nice colors. It's the front part. Just change out the trim colors and you should be fine. Well, apparently now we're putting the transparent orange on the top. You've got a little better view of it than I do. Yeah, they ban fireplaces out here, so I always... Here's some of my friends uh, that are not living here in California uh, talking about they got a sitting by a warm fire on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, they said it's banned due to the air and high fire. I'm thinking, what's the burn out here? It's all sand and cactuses. You can't burn anything down on that. And these houses are all out of... Um, stucco and uh, uh, center block and the top and the roofs are all concrete tiles and no I don't live in a lustrin home although I'd love to see one of those in person since I'm into that older stuff pre-made houses where they had the uh, cast iron baked enamel stuff and That'd be a really good house to reproduce. Yeah, because I was really hoping I can get on those building guides. Um, like, just start working on them. Like, this is... I've been off now for th almost... Uh, for three weeks and I have not even started and I kid you not one big large I'm supposed to finish up the Michael Myers house get that out of the way and have I started nope <laughs> I have started all these Lego sets but I have not started any of the um bigger models yet. Matter of fact, I was supposed to work on the bus. That fell through because I didn't finish this stuff up. I was supposed to work on a camper. Well, didn't get to that either. Got to do all these Lego sets. So hopefully by the end of this year, I'm hoping to have almost every one of these at least filmed. Not edited, but filmed. Then I don't have to sit over here and do these. Because I'm literally out of space. And I need to make two of these with sticker number 11. Which are those. And... That one's kind of crooked. And these go right here. For the solar powered. As a matter of fact now, if you've got solar on your house out here, the energy companies will not pay you anymore. Oh wow, I can't. let me see if I can get that off. That's crooked. Hmm. 
Lego, I cannot ding these down any more than they already are. Boy, that is just tough to get on there. Well, that's as good as it's going to get. I shouldn't have to put stickers on this stuff. I really shouldn't. Okay. And it's just, uh, I don't know. It's getting late. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever do this stuff this late at night. I gotta make two of these here. And... Okay. Huh, they really got that fixed up, don't they? But I was supposed to get all these building guides done. Yeah, or try to get at least some of them published up on there, on, on uh, Rebrickable and on Patreon. Just never got to them. I feel like I had one person that left Patreon because I didn't have the big stuff up there they were expecting. So now a new requirement on there is uh, I cannot guarantee if something's going to be done or not. If you make a request, I'll bump it up, but uh, I may not even take requests anymore, but oh, that's a nice round circle. There, and it looks round. We still got a problem there. We can't turn the elevator. Oh, well, now we're working on that. And we still got one sticker left. I have a feeling it's on the very last bag. All right, so now the blue hand is telling us that it can go up and down. Yeah, it feels kind of rough, but... Oh, I can go all the way up to the, almost to the very top there. Not too bad. Okay, that takes care of the elevator. We're building something else like a pot. Um, probably something to put up here. Let's see where that goes. Okay, it goes right over here. All right, so just trying to uh, get these done here, but I gotta run some errands tomorrow. I think the little kitties are getting out of school early for this week because they got finals. Hopefully, well, in my area, though, only sixty percent of the kids graduate high school anyway, so that's. Kind of sad, but hopefully those who are taking their finals, they pass and get them out of the way, study really hard, get good grades, and say, okay, I'm done, what's next? And so after that, you put this, and all this goes on the top, like a decorative pot. You know, this is a very bright mansion, but they're sure using nasty colors for plants. You know, I mean, I would have just gone all out and made them all bright. I'll tell you one thing, though. Um, this set really is keeping my interest, even at this time at night, but... I kind of want to see what it looks like and explore it when I'm done. And that's it. And this goes right here. Okay, it's a nice little potted plant. And that, folks, is what we have remaining for bag 16. Finally, we're at bag 17, and we have one sticker left. Now, I want to see where 
the plan is going in here now. So we're still working on the third story up here. So um, those are bright colors in there. Ooh. As I say don't fall down. I don't think I have that part in that color. And so it looks like we'll be working right here. And I think what I'm gonna do is I may be inclined. Oh, wow, there's a lot of leaf pieces in here, but not the colors I need. Probably barely see it at the bottom, but we have a mini figure or a mini figure. I don't want to get nailed for that one. A mini doll that we have to build. And then we will start with that. Is that Goldilocks? Mm, oh, we're doing Stephanie. Lego, you're making these mini dolls look so mature and grown up. Next thing you know, you can see them all old and stuff. I'll put the head up there so we she can watch you while I'm putting this together. What color is the torso? Okay, the same color. There's some transparent pieces. We're going to see how bad those are. Hope it doesn't drop down to a five or under a five. Okay, it's the only golden wig. She used to have the rubbery hair. She used to have the scene hair. What little scene kids would wear. Well, there we go. That's what she looks like. And that's it. So, um, I think that's it for the mini dolls. And what I'm, gonna, what I'm inclined to do is I'm going to build this up here so you can see what I'm doing. Now, this is built separately off the table, but we're going to build it here. You got a better view than I do. So... Let's get going here. You get one of these in dark orange. Looks like a like a clay flower pot. And some teeth or horns in this green color. Matter of fact, that'd be great for having vines coming out of the ground in that color. And in here, they just show them going in any direction. I kind of wish Lego would have sent me that BTS set. <laughs> and you also get two new types of leaves. You get the big ones, and then, of course, you get the small ones. So I need these in the darker green. The light green is not really a much use for me, but... Um, So that review, we're not. I'm just going to do a really quick tour on this if, if you're if you're interested. But I, I'm going to have the more detailed tour on the main channel because, like I said, it's late at night. And I want to get this set out of here quickly. How scratched are we? Yeah, there's a bunch of scratches in that. I'm not too worried about those because I use them for water. See, like. This right here's just got scrapes all on the side of that there, um, and pits. Hey, this thing's already got an F in my book, so I don't know. And it's not due to build quality, it's not due to anything else. Build quality is a, a small participant of that, but I'm going to be honest, it's not like some major... Um, catastrophic failure. It's just the parts were scratched and that's how it is. So I'm just piecing together a bunch of stuff right now. I've been looking for these in green. Uh, number one, one by two rounded plate. And there they are. Isn't that cool? There must be some kind of a pool or something there. We don't know yet. All right.
And looking for some more of that sand green stuff there. And well, I found the leaf. two little mushrooms here. These are actually mini hats, mini figure hats. These right here. They look good for fire hydrants, the top of a lamp, like a lampshade. All sorts of stuff that could be used for. So a lot of these parts I've seen before, but they're recolored. Must be like a little garden or something up there. Okay, that takes care of that. All right, now this I'm just gonna build right here in my hand. It's pretty quick. And actually we could just do it right here. I think whoever's gonna get this set, despite all the scratch, is there another one, or do I have to get that one? I'll well, leave it down there. I'll get it later. Whoever gets this set, you know, first off, get a turntable. Second, you're going to get a good building experience out of this. So don't think you're not going to... Uh, you're going to get something pretty crummy. This is pretty good. I'm just getting tired, but... Looking for a transparent stud before I put that round piece in. Okay, there it is. But you are going to be getting a really good build out of this. Now one thing I'm going to recommend is sort out your parts before you start uh, building things. There's a flame that goes in that one there. First, I gotta find it. We have all these leaf pieces. What am I doing? Looking for the littlest, most tiniest possible pieces that you can imagine. See, when you can't find, if you're doing what I'm doing, you can't find it, start sorting by color. Not only you're putting things in certain categories where it'll be easy to find later, but you'll most likely will end up finding the parts you need. Now, if I can, I, I know where the other flame's at that was a, an extra. This leg always gives you at least one spare of the smaller parts. I don't see the flame in here. See an extra toothpiece. May need that later. This is where I'm burning my time up here, is looking for these parts, because we're looking for one. And I don't see it. So let me look in the spares that we've been going through. If not, then I see it. So if not, I'm just going to have to go get one out of my collection. Because they have a candle right up in here. Right. Well, that's not going in, is it? Am I putting it in backwards? No, I'm putting it in right. Let me look at something here. Yeah, that's the piece they wanted in there. Yeah, be careful with that. It's barely hanging on. All right. Okay. And after that, that gets installed. And we have a 
blank sign here. I wonder if we're going to have a sticker put on that. Okay, they make you do a bunch of stuff. Then you got to come and put the sticker on this. I'm going to put the sticker on that now. That's kind of silly, Lego. You make us go two or three steps, and then we put the sticker on it now. I think it's for orientation purposes, but that finishes the sticker sheet up. But why they did that, I don't know. Let's just to make sure we get it on the right side of the clip. I'm probably going to regret it. But I cannot... There we go. That's what we had to put on there. And the step before that was you got to stick a bunch of these in here too. Must be the wishing whale, the miss wishing, the wishing whale, where you can throw all the coins in and stuff. Where Leo probably dunks his head in to get the water when he's thirsty. I like these pieces right here. You get them in a different color, they look like vanilla wafers. All right, after that's done, put the sticker on and this leaf. Like I said, if these were jagged around here, you get the idea. There we go. And there, that's what it looks like there. Okay, now we're going to need to build a column here. You can't see down here that well. But you need to stack four of these on here. It lines up with this. Sorry, but keep moving the camera around. I'll never get this done. And then these go here. I guess it's supposed to look like water pouring down below. That wouldn't float where I'm at. You'd be considered a waste of water. They would really fine you for that out here. Okay, now this is supposed to be like some kind of like a little pond here. So let's start decorating that in. You got studs for all sorts of stuff. Now we're getting things done here, but we're not done with this set yet. We're not even close. There's still a lot of pieces down here that need to be gone through. I do see some stuff like it's printed. Fishy tiles. And I do not want to lose those. Are they the same or are they different? Well, this one's different here. And we got some greenery here. Yeah, you do do you do get two different types of fish in here. There's another one. Probably better when I put them in there and you can see them better. So there's your fish. And I'm gonna make two of these with bright pink flowers. And no, we are not done yet. <laughs> okay, it's just taking forever. Yeah, it is. We're doing we're doing landscaping now, and you know how long that's gonna be. I'll probably be up till four in the morning trying to get this all put together. There we go. Does add some color in that corner, and looks like we are building some lily pads. Oh yes, don't step on these. Pick these up. These will hurt if you step on them. So we're gonna do something like that right there, and then these go in here. Jay, why on earth would you step on those? It's not by choice. I was parting out a Britannical set 
and I stepped on one of those, and it wasn't it wasn't very comfortable. <laughs> All right, now we are going to be focusing our, our attention back down at the bottom here. All right, so I'm just going to drop the neck down right there. And that's what we'll be focusing right now. So I'm going to be moving the camera around a lot. Sorry, but I don't have a I don't have a, a cameraman with this. All right, so now you can see what I'm doing back there. And this is where we connected up right here. And it's got some nice greenery for what this is. It's just now, the one bad thing about this set, though, and I understand it's playable, the back is open. And this goes right here. This area too. <laughs> oh, we gotta put another one of those goofy flowers together. Yuck, roo, gross. Well, let's do that. Let's get that out of the way. I mean, we're gonna have to do it, so let's do it. We haven't got to the big tree that goes on this yet. Just want to hurry up and get this done and go to bed. Um, I mean, I can split the video. I was kind of thinking about that when I was brushing my teeth, and I thought, well, I'd like to get at least this part here done so I can check it off the list. And tomorrow, or later on today, actually, <laughs> uh, focus on the review of the video get it done real quick um, it'll be a full tour obviously as big as this is it will be a close-up video and it'll be a close-up detailed walkthrough I just gotta remember the sliding bed in there because I'll probably forget that and the 5.6 score on this I think it was 5.5 .5, I don't remember I don't remember it's 5.6 I lost count Right there. Okay. And we're still working in this area. <laughs> I think we're going to be in here for a while. And there we go. Let's add some dirt back here. I guess we're supposed to make this like it's extra dirty. Or to strengthen that up, one of the two. Okay, now we're starting to build a tree here. There's not a whole lot left. It's just tree pieces. What you see here is what we have. And there's not a whole lot. Remember that cross axle that we were, that brick with the cross hole? It's right back in there. And I guarantee you that's probably where the tree is going to get attached. You know what I mean? That's going to be where the tree is going to go. And that goes right here. There's a spot right here with the cross hole. I have a feeling something's going to go in there. Not yet, though. Because now we got to make another one of these goofy little plants. 
and set that right here on that stud. Well, there's one that goes on the bottom too. I mean, at least they're paying attention to detail. So it's not like some barren, dried, boring build. This is uh, pretty much finished off. Then we got this right here that goes in there. We got to build two of those little boogers. All right. So right here is where I'm going to be working in this corner here. So, well, let's get going on that because this is going to be a while. At least we're building two. And here's the deal. It's going to get faster as we go, because we're going to be cleaning up the mess here. And, yeah, let's take a look here. Um, no, we're not done yet. we got to put these leaves on the bottom. It's all about the detail. That's one. Well, that's after this, that's it for these leaf pieces. I never use this um, olive uh, baby poop green color. I never use this for any of my builds. It's just it reminds me of some depressing desert color. Like it needs to be watered. Like something you'd see like maybe in an acacia biome or something. An acacia, um, a savanna biome. I'm thinking of Minecraft. Uh, maybe a desert scene, and that's what you'd see there. And now we can put the big leaves on. So these are actually meant with a little notch in the middle, so you can wrap around that. That's not too bad, huh? That's pretty clever what Lego did. So you can actually run your leaves in there through a cross axle like that. And then you just stick this on here. There you go. And try to do that one for you there. You don't have to slide them down, they just kind of fit right up next to it. I want to see these come in dark green and earth green because I can use those. Especially if you're going upside down too. Okay, now we got those done. And step 502. 500, wow, we're at 500 already. Um, 502. So you, you notice how I'm putting the brick on after I'm done because these are like they're ready to fall off. So that's what it looks like so far. Looks like something you'd see like in a Britannical set, huh? Not this. It's too bright for a botanical, but I like seeing more foliage parts, Lego. Please make them, make all sorts of them, because I like those. And we got to go back around again. So we got to do this one more time, and we plate it off with a 2x2 two two round plate. To kind of lock that in. That's pretty, huh? We just got to do that again. So this one's not too terribly bad. Um, I thought these were going to be tough to put together. Well, we're not done yet. we still got a bunch of stem pieces left. Um, huh? these go in the middle. 
from what I'm gathering. Because it looks like that's where they would be. It wouldn't make any other sense otherwise. Stick those in there. And then you got to stick another four. Like that. And then we got to do it over here again. Well, just, you think they would have had like a shaft or something in there to really fortify that up. Now, I'm just tossing them on there. I'm not going to worry about how we don't need them ge geometrically perfect because they're plants. And after that, remember we got to make two stems, so we'll set those off to the side. And we will start manufacturing two of these right now. Hmm. I got the straight and the squared ones mixed up. There we go. I mean, we're almost done here. I can't wait to get to the review and hit the bed. I got a bed that's calling me right now. All right. Not a whole lot left. And then... So what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at the next two steps ahead, and then because honestly my fingers do need to rest on these. Um, okay. I mean, we're almost done. Like, look. Uh, um, what's her name? It's almost to the end of the book. She's just like, they may as well just have her crawling with her tongue hang, hanging out by now. I mean, I would be tired too. I think Oandria is just exhausted. All that walking she's been doing nonstop. You know, that just put like a finish line with a with like a like a finish rope or something that says finish now watch after we're done it's going to say tear it all apart and do something else with it all right oh wait a minute you still got to put four pegs in. It's like, why is it not going in there? Yeah, this reminds me of doing the botanicals. Because the botanicals are almost the same way as this. Um, be careful with this. I'm just going to do it right there. And botanical sets are pretty good for the most part. And I think that is it. Wow. Let's see here. Okay, so one of the trees goes here. And we'll back out and I'll show you everything when we're done. And this one just goes right here in this cross axle. There's a hole there and just set that in there. And we'll take a look at that here in a second. And then that's it. Ooh, those sets look fun. I hope they send me those. I doubt they will. I don't care for that one. I always like to see if there's any new parts coming out. Nope. Okay. Put that over there. I had one extra one of these, but... You know. And this... My friends, is what we have remaining for the whole build. Now, let's back everything up here. We're going to take a look at everything now. And then, um, this is going to be called setting up. And then we're just going to do the half-bake review on that. Okay. Oh, not too bad. But we are leaning a little bit there. Let's straighten up the house. Uh, yeah, it's leaning just a bit. 
All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and risk it. I'm going to plug that, and I'm just hoping that I have uh, enough battery for that. Okay. And I can't wait to get rid of this big box. It's the set comes in a very large box, and. I just want to get the box out of here so I can focus on cleaning up this room. All right, so that's basically the whole glory right there is the mansion. And we're just going to run through some of the stuff real quick. I'm not going to go through and do a full detailed tour of it. But here we got the entryway or the emo corner. And you do get several mini dolls with it, ten in total. Okay, and I'll put you down here too. And you got the garage that works. We've already seen that enough. We've even seen if the car is flying out of it. What are you doing in the jacuzzi? It's emo. She's gonna have to cry a storm in there. All right, where's Miss Selfie Stick at? Is she? All down somewhere. I'm trying to find everybody here and get them all for the shot. Let me pull this forward here. Oh, that's where she went. Right back there. Now, where's the selfie stick person at? Huh? Don't be slouching. I'm the one that's supposed to do that after I did all this work. Um, Nobody's taking a dip in the pool. And, oh, there's the, uh, there's, where's the kid at? There's a kid in here. Oh, she's standing behind there. All right. Well, there's always one that's gonna, here, you can take a selfie of your nose, looking up your nose, there we go. And that's all the figures. And for the most part, um, I can't go any lower. Isn't that cool? Um, that's good enough. Okay, let's turn this up a bit more here. So this is pretty much what we've done. And for the most part, it's a really good build. And of course, you got your walkway up here. Matter of fact, you do have an opening front door. I think that's the only door in this whole thing other than the garage door. You got a pool. All this up here, patio, looks like that's a jacuzzi, an outdoor eating area. Thing to crank open the garage. Forgot the little teddy bear. We're gonna put that in the kids' room. We'll set that right there. Kinda get that out of the way. And the trees that we just spent the time working on. Those don't look those don't look pretty bad. They look really good actually. I can see those being used in a city. And so down here's the garage. We have the studio room with this with the hideaway bed. Okay. And a little kitchen. You come in here, here's your kitchen, way to get in the pool. You got a working elevator, which is this, this knob up at the top here. You can see the elevator going down. Okay. In fact, you're going to have to step to get in there. And you have access to all three floors. Okay, so you got your kitchen or kitchenette, your outdoor, I guess, an outdoor uh, place to play the piano. The third floor you have a shower or a bathroom without a bathtub. So how do you take a shower? I don't know, you just have to dunk in the pool. We have, looks like a small kid's bedroom. Family photos in here. No doors and they're just open frames. And a little lounge area. So what is this? The little kid owns the whole house. We don't. I don't see uh, Andrea's bedroom. Maybe that's her bedroom down there. Maybe that's the guest room. 
and we got a place for the mail. And on the top, though, we have a little patio area and solar powered and little pond and little vegetable garden on the top. Now, so that's pretty much the gist of it. And when I do the tour on this, I'm going to just do the minifigures first. That'd be close up. So how I'm going to do this in order, I'm going to do the review first. Then I'm going to go ahead and I think what I'm going to do is when I, I'm going to put the minifigures and have them displayed on here. So I think what I'm going to do is stage the minifigures up tomorrow when I get up. Do a tour. I mean, let's start all over. Stage the minifigures for the thumbnail. Then I'm going to do the review. Do the tour. Do the 360 tour or the close-up tour. And then do the minifigures last. It'd be easier so if I mess something up, I can easily backtrack and peel things off. Um, let's start right on in with play value. This is a highly playable model. So you have the pool, you have the garage, the car, plenty of rooms, accessories, you get 10 mini dolls. You know, there's just so much to play with in here. Build experience was pretty good with this model. It wasn't something boring. It was pretty fun to put together, despite of uh, the next thing, and it's already 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, so build experience is pretty good. Uh, build quality, I'm going to say this one here, at the very end, we're starting to get pretty flaky. So I'm going to say it's an average build. Average-ish. Probably a little bit above average. But build, but the build quality, but you wouldn't want to just pull this thing. It's just too big. So you got to make sure you have to have it on a turntable. Um, it could be dropped in a Lego City. Wait a minute, no, it can't be dropped. you got to finish up the back unless you have it facing the wall. So this is not a model that you can drop in a city. Um, mock value, I'm sure somebody could probably get creative and finish this model up, change the colors, do whatever you want with it, or use the pieces for another build. So there is possibilities there. No collaborative build. Oh, excuse me, I couldn't hold that in. No collaborative build. And... Yeah, it's pretty much about it. There's just no collaborative build with this model. Now, for my re for my uh, score, it's a five point six. Uh, <laughs> um, it's the scratched elements. The point six I dinged off five points or four points for the scratched elements. And then the point four was just basically for parts falling off and stickers. It wasn't really, it was just minor stuff. But when this stuff comes in scratched, it just, you could see, I could see some of this here. Even with my poor vision, I can see some of this is scratched and just, and cloudy. It just doesn't look good. It may, it may show up on the video, I don't know. But honestly, though, that just, that just subtracts from the value. It just, it just doesn't look good when it's all scuffed up. But for the most part, though, whoever gets the set is going to have a really good build. This is something I would pick up probably if it's on sale. There's a lot of oddball color parts in here and some useful pieces for making stuff. And this is a good base to start making a custom mansion. But for me personally, this is something I probably would just get if it's on clearance. Now, is it worth $199.99? Is it twenty two seventy five? Yes, but it's about the price of a modular, give or take. So it's got a lot of accessories, though, and I think it's pretty much worth it. Anybody who gets the set, you're not going to be shortchanged on a play value and a build experience. Okay. So honestly, in my opinion, uh, I do recommend this set, but just be forewarned, you may get scratched parts like I did. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know as well. Because somebody on the Ambassador thing is gonna, probably going to get an earful from me. Because even though this was just given to me for review, I put my time into building this, and I shouldn't see pieces scratched like that. 
I mean, it's just uncalled for. But for the most part, though, for a little child, this is going to be fun, you know, to play with. I mean, to bet it wasn't a collaborative build, but other than that, it's a, it's a nice, nice modern mansion. So tell me what you think of this set.